Here's a homework problem that we will definitely want to use technology to assist with for a couple of reasons. One, the data set is fairly large, and secondly, we want to, uh, to create a dot plot, a scatter plot, which will uh, be much easier with technology. Data scientists say that, that about 80% of their effort goes into wrangling the data, that is, positioning the data into the uh, software so that the software can then begin to process the data. To produce the scatter plot in this case, we will want to have a vector that contains all the value of the homes and a second vector that contains all of the rental uh, income that comes from the, from the home. So we need to produce those two, two vectors. Let's do it in the following way. Because this is a, already at least an electronic uh, textbook, we can copy the data and paste it into our text editor. We'll use the text editor for the script editor in, in our studio in this case. So the first step will be to begin to copy these home values. So I'm copying that home value and I'm going to paste that into the text editor. Now, this still isn't quite right because we need to have this to be a comma separated uh, variable. So let's come in and put a comma at the end of each one of these items. There we are. We've got commas in, on all of them. And we want to build this into an object eventually. So let's uh, call the object value and we'll use the concatenation function to do that. Now we could just keep building this into a great big long, long uh, list. Actually this really needs to be one long line, but rather than make it, we'll, we'll regroup this so that it's more readable as a script. Now when we run that script, R is going to recognize that this keeps going. So we don't really have to have this in one huge, huge long line here. Um, but so now we need to, to keep going and getting the other, the other columns. There was the first column. Let's come over and carefully highlight the second column of the values. We'll bring that in here and put it in, come up and put in commas and then rearrange things. Finish the work on the second column. We'll need to come in and one, two, if need to get this third column of data for the value of the homes. We'll copy that, paste it, and put it in and do the same thing. So we've completed the work for the uh, first uh, one, two, three columns. So we need to get the, we've done those first three. Let's get that fourth one. And right there, we'll copy it. We'll come over and paste it in over here, put in the commas and clean things up. Now notice that the, this very last one, we don't want a comma there. We want to have a parentheses on the end of that last one. So let's come in, put in the commas and clean things up. So there we are. I've gone and Got all of that data, copied it over, put commas in, and rearranged it so that it's kind of readable here. We can, can highlight that part of the script. We can run that. That produces this vector called uh, value. And we can now, anytime that we need those, those values, they are now stored in that vector. Now we want to come back up here. Be sure whenever you're editing up here that anything that you've got highlighted, before you do anything, click and make sure that nothing's highlighted or else it erases that highlighting. So now let's build another vector. Uh, this one is going to, to be rent. So we'll build a vector called rent and we'll put it in there, the concatenation uh, operation and we'll need to go in and copy each one of these rental columns. Co 
copy that, come in and paste it in here, come up and put in commas, make sure that you get the comma there and not, and then there's going to finally be that parentheses at the end. We'll come up and kind of clean these up a little bit so it's a more readable script and do that for all four columns of rent. So there I am kind of getting things cleaned up for the first column. We'll come over and copy the second column. Copy it, paste it in over here, put in the commas, rearrange things and do it for the third and fourth columns as well. I've completed the third column want to come in and want to come in and highlight the fourth column copy it and paste it in and finish cleaning things up now be careful on this last item we don't want a comma there we want to have a a uh, parentheses so now we'll come in and clean these up Okay, so up here in the script, we've shown how to create the value uh, vector and the rent vector. And we can highlight that script and run it. And now we've got those two things. We can also see what the rent vector is. We can see what the value vector is. And now it'd be very easy to plot Um, the value is the independent variable and rent as the dependent variable and that would give us a plot that looks something like this because of my window I can't show you the whole thing but uh, there's the uh, the plot of that data we need to put a probably a main header on here and check and see if we like the way the X labels and the Y labels are are listed and then we can begin to we're seeing that there is kind of a linear relationship here of course okay that's that's the idea of wrangling the data for this homework set